Hello and welcome back to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes 3 with the Grand Arena. Second opponent for the week is Bindu. They hail from Team Trader. They have Leia. They have 740,000 legacy score. They also have 11.5 million GP. So, yippee. We got all sorts of fun shenanigans there, huh? Not really, but you know. Um. So, they've got a new Dooku team. Dash. Uh, this weird Hondo team with Quill and IG-11. Uh, Vader, and then CLS. And then, of course, we've got to deal with a, uh, Leia team and Ray team down south. Um, what else? Oh, uh, Darth Revan with Savage and Bastila. Uh, Ewoks, without the Nisocron, luckily. And then Aiden with Scout and No Zetas and Storm. So, um... Yeah, let's go ahead and start with Leia here. What do we have here? 226% defense. Okay then. And it's also got the, you know, reduced damage with more TM. Buffs on basics. And Drogon, of course, being Drogon. So, for the first time ever, we've got Jabba the Hutt on offense, which is weird to say. Um, but it's because... I wanted to test this team against her. I don't know how well it's going to go because, you know, Relic 5, Relic 5, Relic 7, and then 8, 8, and 9. So this can either go extremely bad, bad, badly, extremely quickly, or it can work out. I'm not holding my breath on either of them, honestly, because, yeah. Um, the good thing is he can't do anything stupid because of, well, the fact that, uh, you know, they have the buff... Uh, thing on her, well, from this Leia here. Bush Leia, I should say. And my general idea here is just go for Organa. Or maybe I should go for the sides? I don't know, because, you know, I'm not entirely sure how well this is going to work. Just because we don't have Lando and or, uh, like, Boba or Embo to help spread more thermals all over the place, so I'm kind of iffy on all this, to be completely honest. Because, you know, obviously they're going to start doing lots and lots of damage rapidly, so um, let's throw that on Drogon, maybe? Okay. We have contracts, so that's good. Of course, she's dazed, so she can't do anything to help at the moment. Uh, let's go ahead do this. Uh, maybe that'll kill him? Oh, it did. <laughs> that it did. Wow, okay. Uh, let's give it back to Sandston. Let's keep going on Organa. Leia Organa, the big GL. Okay, we have ult ready. The general idea here is I'm going to kill R2 in a second. If I get a turn in edgewise or not. Okay, we do. Cool. Okay, we got the sides knocked out. Now will we be able to take out big old Leia? That I don't know about. She has Fearless. Not Fearless. Well, she has Fearless, obviously, but she also has Disarmed on her from Chris Sandston, obviously. So, and Shock and all this other crap. 29 thermals, okay. Of course, my my other big issue here with running this team on offense is like, is it gonna crash, like hard crash blue stacks? Because with those thermals going wild, I kind of worry about that. Okay, we're about to do another Rancor on her, so that's cool. Of course, it's not gonna kill her because, you know, yeah, she's a GL. She's not going to get killed by the Rancor like that. I will admit that I'm pleasantly surprised how well this is going so far. Of course, she is almost an ult. And once she gets Fracture on the board, that's going to decimate my team. But of course, without Drogon and without R2, I'm a little, a little bit okay with this so far. Mm 
Okay, we have another ult coming with the Rancor. This is gonna kill it. Nope. Close, but no cigar. Oh. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. 91% defense, health steal, protection, and crit damage. Luckily, it's not the stacking health protection and all the other hoopla with the low 6 roll. Uh, however, I did get burned by Ray on this account, obviously. So, uh, yeah. You know. Now, do we want X? Actually, we we'll probably should take the defense, just because, yeah, the, the load of protection and crit damage would help. I, uh, that's not Kylo. Uh, Starkiller do Starkiller things, but um, I would prefer to save that for Kylo elsewhere kind of deal, you know? So, she's going to go first, naturally. JTR is going to take a turn pretty soon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knew that was coming. Uh, let's just basic. That way we can get rid of the crit hit immunity, and now we can just start wailing... GL Ray, maybe, or she's just gonna go into damage immunity because she uh did that. I need to get another Ripase on a uh, Star Killer because that would really help getting through the protection on JTR over here. As in, I would ignore it, obviously. Um, don't get me wrong, as tempting as it was to go for the Star Destroyer, I knew it wasn't going to kill her because she hadn't gone damage immunity. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's throw the grenade. I really need her to stop dodging. Oof, okay, there we go. There we go. Um... Please stop going for Star Killer. That was... That was close. I didn't like that. <laughs> Ooh, if I hadn't had the defense, I probably would have had, you know, Starkiller get killed. That's a lot of defense. Wow. And again, stacking offense, buffs on basics, and extra crit damage. Okay. Oh, wow. That's terrifying to see. <laughs> wow, that's... Beyond terrifying to see. Um, but are we going to have enough damage output to get through them? Uh, we could with this, maybe. I mean, yeah, without the basics. Buffs on basics, it's not going to be as great. But, like... You know. Beggars can't be choosers. Um, let's go for Nisa first, maybe. Okay. That's good. That's good. Now for Mr. Pop Lou. Okay, well. That wasn't as uh, uh, terrifying or annoying as I thought it would be. I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay, well, good thing here, first and foremost. No buffs on basics. Not the best roll for the level 6 one. Except that defense is a little bit worrying hard. 33%. Ooh. Um, we could go this route of Rogue One and hope for the best, really. 
And we do have this. Don't really think that's going to help, but, uh, you know, it's what I have for Rebels, so. Also, without Scouts, Zetas, it's not going to be as potent, and also the fact that they will be gaining days out of all this is not going to help them in the slightest. Also, going for the one person that's going to hinder you the most is not going to help you in the slightest. That was just basic. Of course, the cleanse, but, you know. Hmm, now they're going for Cassian. That's annoying. I really wanted to hit Gout Trooper with those three stacks of Expose, but... Oh well. Okay, let's do this. Oof. I didn't got yeeted out of there by that U-Wing bomber run. Which hurts me to say that, but you know. Ouch. I just... Yeah, I just would prefer to use him here kind of thing. What's the Datacron, though? Extra defense. Okay, so... But yeah, uh... Like... I'm not going to use C against Lord Vader, obviously. There's no point in saving it for that. And I don't know what's in the back, but now that I don't have to worry about Leia, you know, I'm not as terrified to do this. Or worried. Okay, we're going to do this. Link up those two. And just hope for the best. And also with no... Um, what is it called? Uh... I can't think of the word right now. Um, not fear. Um, oh my god, I am blanking so hard on that debuff. Uh, it'll come to me eventually, but... Uh, you know. Doubt. That's a, what I, How can I not remember that? Doubt. Without any doubt on this team. There's not going to be, like, you know, the big worry of, like, oh, am I going to have my cooldowns increase because of doubt expiring? I mean, yeah, it's going to happen with fear, but, like, C can't be feared, so that's not really a worry now, is it? So. Huzzah. What's this? Oh, boy. Okay. That's going to be a bit of a headache to deal with. Um, however, we could try something. And I put the emphasis on the word try as heavily as humanly possible because I've heard this works on offense against uh, Jabba. Uh, however, I'm not exactly holding my breath on it. So, yeah. And it being Relic 18 against my mostly... I think it's all Relic 5, actually. Yeah, none of my murder droids or Afra are, are above Relic 5. But, um... Yeah, um... Yeah. Okay. Mm. Also, this is a new background again that I've not been on. Okay, this is not good. Um, I need Afra to take a turn so she can revive. Uh. BT, there we go. Okay. Please leave Trip alone. Okay, let's do this again. How is she not in the damaging me part yet? 
He's gonna die in a second, so I don't want to use the revive just yet. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Okay, let's go ahead and revive him. Let's go ahead and do some more cooldowns. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's do that. I need... I need Boosh to get out of damaging me so I can kill her. Let's go ahead and heal some more. Okay, that's good. Of course, what's not good is she's still in damage immunity. Okay, let's shoot her. Blow her up, maybe? Nice. 122,000 damage. Oof. God, I forgot how much fun BT is. I say that because I don't really use them outside of, like, a... Like, territory battle or a... Conquest, because most of the time... Aphra has been on defense, because my roster doesn't really have the depth that I would like to have to run everything I want on offense and defense, so. If you can get out of your stupid damage immunity, Chris Anston. Let's go ahead and get some more doubt on the board. It's basic. Because I really need him to take a turn. Finally took a turn. So now we need to nuke him out of existence. Beautiful. Now let's go all hog wild. Oh, 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 oh my god. Now, I know it's because that summon droid goes off of Aphra's like siphon, but like, ooh wee, that was beautiful. Beautiful. And his little trick of throwing Jabba in the back didn't save him, so. Alright, uh, let's go deal with Vader real quick. Before we get too excited with things. Um 230% defense. Good lord. Okay. Um Yeah, that's a lot of defense. However, we are gonna go with, you know, JMK, so. Um Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go with this. Not the best Kron, but I'm like... I gotta find... A relic... I just realized that it's a Relic 9 Maul. That is... Insanity. Why would you push Maul to Relic 9? He's fine at Relic 8. Okay, so they're faster than... Well, that makes sense because a lot of people have a really ridiculously fast Lord Vader. I know I do. But like... Still... Goodbye, Maul. Okay. Bold to go for JMK instead of General Kenobi with the with the uh, fracture, but okay. Okay, let's go ahead. Swarm. We can ult in a second too, so that's good. Because the quicker we get fracture off of. Jedi Master Kenobi, you know. The happier I will be. Let's go ahead and do this to the Thrawn. And now we're really racing the clock against his ult. Ah, damn it. Okay. That's fine. Because we got Thrawn out. But now... Now... We're gonna go ahead and give that to General Kenobi. I know last Gak I was like ranting and raving about the AI kept giving the danger to General Kenobi. It's like, well, it was a bit prudent this time because he was actually close to dying, and I'd rather have the savior proc on her as opposed to him. So. Now, the bad thing is with this uh, Kron that I have. Actually, we need to heal real quick because if not, she's going to die. The swarm with that blind is going to keep helping him charge his ult, which is not really ideal. However, like I said, didn't really have a lot of options for death crons. I am trying to get ready for next week, but like, yeah, having just finished getting some max crate 
like the night of this recording, you know. Kind of makes things a little difficult. Mm. Yes, I know I would have gotten more ult with more ult charge with JMK being called to assist on himself, but I was trying to heal her real quick. No idea what the hell is rattling around outside. I'm actually kind of worrying to hear that through my headset, but uh. Yeah. Uh, let's keep calling JMK. Oof. Okay. I was going to say keep calling him to assist the ramp, but never mind. Defense, health, and protection, and then the resistance of uh, debuffs to gain health and protection back. Okie dokie then. Uh, we'll go with this though, because apparently, according to .gg, it has 100 percent win ratio. So, we'll roll with that. Extra crit damage, just because why not? And away we go. I'm trying to be as clean as I humanly possibly can be on this back zone. So that way, I have buff available for the north zone. To finish cleaning that up, obviously. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and armor shred. Let's fracture. Let's go ahead and clean off some debuffs. Um, let's force crush again. Let's pass it back to Vader. Uh, well, can't call anyone yet. Which is annoying, but, you know, whatever. Uh, let's do that. Let's go ahead and fracture again. How do we... S oh, it's because of the stupid AoE from him. Okay, let's get rid of all of your TM. Okay. That was pitiful. I get some more fracture again. Of course, it's not going to do anything because he's taunting. Okay, get rid of your buffs. Not buffs, but TM. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Ooh, Vader's finally starting to ramp. Let's smack him. Almost. Now let's get rid of your debuffs. Let's go ahead, basic. Nice. Okay, not gonna lie, I didn't think it would take this long to work, but hey, I mean, you know, it happens. Let's go ahead and get rid of some more debuffs. Well, that was fun. <laughs> like I said, it took longer than I was expecting, but it worked out in the end. So, what do we have here? Health and crit damage. So he just has Datacrons on these teams. I mean... Yeah, me too, but like... <laughs> you know. Yeah. Okay, um... What do we have here? Crit... Yeah, we'll do that. Not gonna lie, not sure how this is supposed to work, but, um, because I have a distinct memory of having failures against this kind of team before, so, you know, not really giving me the most wholesome of vibes here. Yeah, like I said. Let's call him to assist. Let's get rid of that. I was trying to get rid of the buffs, but I mean, okay. 
I'm kind of seeing where this is supposed to be going, not gonna lie. It's just... Will I succeed, though? That's the problem here. Because I need to get a master's training on JML here, but that is proving to be rather difficult to do. There we go, get rid of those. Actually, can we maybe kill off Warrior? No. Of course not. Oh wow, he has a lot of dots on him. It's a lot of dots. That is a lot of dots starting to stack up. What the hell? You get a big AoE like that and it doesn't kill off everyone all at once? What the hell? Okay. Let's get another stun off. Oof. Okay, that. That is what I'm talking about. Of course, you know, the fact of the matter is he's still alive. War uh, Chieftain is. And also Warrior. However... Now we should be able to ignore the taunt, right? Or just do it like that, yeah? Okay. Now it's going to come down to these two yahoos, huh? Let's get rid of all those debuffs. Go ahead and leap. Let's do a big hit. There we go. I'm not going to lie, I didn't think that was going to work at all. Um, I don't think it'll work with the Tuscan Cron now, but like, you know. I'll take it. Okay, I'm going to really grant some buffs to each other. They gain health protection back. So that's just going to be annoying to deal with. Um, could we do my Jedi Knight Revan team, though, is the better question. That'll be the real questions and answers here. Um, we'll do that because extra health, steel, and health, and, you know, buffs on basics are nice. So, um, yeah. Okay, let's mark down Hero Fin first. Let's do that. Let's do this so you can get rid of all your TM or just get rid of him flat out. Okay. Let's get some buffs going because we need to get protection back on Astola. Let's do another leap. Another basic. Let's go ahead and get rid of your TM. Hmm, close, but no cigar. Let's get rid of Dory. Or don't. That's fine. More buffs. No more speed up for you, and protection back for her. Did we get max banners, though? Nice. Oh, basics. Buffs on basics, health protection. Okay. Um. No, that's not looking for first order. Um. Yeah, why not? I'm gonna go complete overkill here, just because with Malik Invader here, no, no, thank you. Me don't want to suffer. So we'll poke Vader. <laughs> Oof, that was a big old hit there. Uh, let's go ahead, and swipe. Why not? Okay, we lost Hux. Hey. One dead is not bad, though. 159% defense. And also buffs on basics. They reduce damage on 50% more TM. Crit damage and health steal and health. Okay. Um, um we're gonna go a little ballsy here. 
Oh wait, I don't have. Nope, can't do that. Don't have Gideon. Forgot I used him with Vader. Okay. Um. What what do we have datacron wise? We may have to give this a go. As much as I don't want to do dash, like, maybe my best option. Because, you know, yeah. Uh, kind of worried about this. Oh, who do I want to go for first? Maybe CLS. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's push back the TM some. Oh, come on. You're so close to killing him outright. Oh my god, that was pathetic damage. Okay. Now the problem is going to be Chupio here. Let's get rid of that shenanigans. Let's stun him. Smack him in the face. Let's get rid of no team, I guess. Come on, let's keep stripping the team off, boys. Okay. I was worried because that defense and the, you know, reduced damage for 50% or more roll. I was worried that wasn't going to work at all. Hmm, of course. Okay, so we will definitely Malgus this team. Because, yeah, with that cooldown flip on basics, absolutely not. Because, uh, yeah. That, uh, cooldown reset on the basic is going to be quite annoying with this team. So, we will just, uh, do this. Why? Because, fuck it, that's why. And I want to kill, uh, want to kill, uh, Vandor before he thinks that it's anything stupid. Of course, we're doing, like, no damage to him. Thank you. Goodbye. Now we can go for Dash Rin DR. That's not very nice of you. Please leave Sass alone. Good lord, you just do not like my team, do you, Dash? Oof. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Nasty banners, but you know. A win is a win. Ah, enemies defeated by scoundrels can't be revived, and whenever they grant a buff to another, they regain health and protection. Okay. Well. Here's to hoping they, um... Don't get rolling. <coughs> okay. Sorry. <coughs> Drink went down wrong. Okay. Ah, name it. That's not good. Yeah, I was trying to stop that from happening. Okay, let's get rid of the buffs, maybe. Yeah, okay. Oh my god. Please just die, Quill. Or don't. Okay, let's call... Nice. Okay, now the annoying part is going to be Hondo. Just because he is Hondo. 
Well, I'll just go ahead and give it back to you. Throw the knife. Throw the knife again, maybe? Kill him? Almost. There we go. What do we have here, though? Ah. Section, crit damage, accuracy, and whenever they use a basic, they get the stats on basic. Um, okay. Apparently, Wampa has a decent win ratio against this. Uh, however, I'm not holding my breath on that. So, because one wrong rocket from Django will ruin everything. Absolutely everything. And that um, kind of terrifies me. So, yeah. Okay, um, we need a turn game. Thank you. Let's go ahead and roar. I want to get B1 out the way, just because once B1 is out the way, they can't keep getting protection back. So, yeah, that's the plan. Go for B1. Uh, keep smacking B1 around. Okay, now now we have to go for Django, unfortunately. We have to go for Django. Ooh. Okay. Uh, that rocket had me worried. Yes, I've like relic my Womp with a Relic 7, but still, a rocket from Django terrifies me. Like, eh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who or what or where or why. Rockets from Django terrify me. Go ahead and smack B1 around some more. We need to get more protection up back. Why am I not counter-attacking? Okay, there we go. I'm really not holding my breath on these rebels for doing their job, not gonna lie. Because I don't trust my rebels. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I don't like using my rebel fleet on offense. But I'd rather not leave them on defense, but I also don't trust them at all because they do not like to assist in the slightest. So, yeah. Um... Do that. No assist. Really, game? Really, game? So now they're gonna kill my Y-Wing because of that. Yeah, like I said, they're gonna kill my Y-Wing because of that. Of course. Of fucking course. And then no assist off the other two Yahoos. Really? You could... You could have assisted off of one another. You have the capabilities of assisting. Why are you not assisting? Like, brother, why are you being such a pain? You've got to be fucking with me, right? You've got to be fucking with me, right? And, um, why didn't this little pain in the ass taunt until now? Now they want to taunt. Here comes Slave 1, kill me. Thank you. Okay. Great. Just... Fuck. I go perfect on fl on ground. And then I... Fleets. Fleets fucking ruins it. Empire Fleet. Um... So it is... You... 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 Uh, you, you, and you. Alright, let's see how badly this one goes, because after that fail against fucking Executor, I swear to god, man, that the Rebel Fleet has it out just to be the biggest POS in the game. Without a fail. Every single time. Like, without fail, I always have to deal with a stupid... Gu 
Brother, you he hasn't even dropped below 100% health yet. Why are you... Why are you healing him? See, now you should have used to heal, but no, you got real... Real... Blah, 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 and had to heal him on your first move, as always. I really need to get, uh... My, um... Whatchamacallit out here? Shuttle. And for a show. So that we can give protection back to, uh... The, um... My bomber. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and then... Okay. Okay, 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 okay. There goes the Y-Wing. There goes Ahsoka. Let's do this. Let's do that. Now what? Ah, Plo Koon, of course. Okay. That went a lot better than I was expecting. Having to two-shot this makes me so infuriated. Rebels are garbage. Rebel fleet, garbage. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. A fleet that relies only on assist to get anything done is ridiculously stupid. At least they wasted that AoE on him. Um, let's see what mine can do. Good. Now we need to turn with my Zany Do. Now we need to turn with my Razor Crest. Beautiful. See, that's that's what bonus attacking does. Hey rebels, you might want to like get get an eye on this. You know, get get your get your peepers on. You know, you know, maybe uh, learn a thing or two. Assisting makes the fleet go around for y'all. How did we not get contract yet? Well, here comes Bobo, so. Um, let's go ahead and kill Xanadu or try to at least. Okay, we did. Good. Um. Uh, Spade Stick. Heal up Xanadu. Get keep taunt on. Houndstooth. Let's go ahead and uh, get some more chafe running because he's about to lose taunts anyways, so. Like I said, about to lose taunt anyways. Let's go ahead and get some breach. Finally got contract. One turn short. You've got to be fucking with me right now. Okay. Hasta la vista. Maybe I should have done a mirror. But that could have also gone completely awry, so maybe not. Who knows. Oh well. At least we got it cleaned up. Without having to do loads of loads of extra fights. Now, let's deal with the First Order. Yes, we're going to go with this High Dagger lineup. Mostly because I can. Okay. Not really helping yourself there. Mr. Hux, because... Yeah. Hmm. A lucky stun. Go figure. Oh, and another ability block, of course. Okay, let's go ahead and get... This rolling. Okay, we need to get rid of... Brew. Bye-bye. Nope, I don't have the 
don't have the hangar destroyed yet. Never mind. I was gonna say bye bye reinforcement, but nope. <laughs> Hadn't gotten there yet. Goodbye crew. And the good thing is, this fleet does not have like a big ult that could just ruin your day later on. Eventually they may change it to do that, but like, not at the moment. Goodbye. Command shuttle. Now we can destroy the hangars. Let's get some more protection back. Well, uh, that was off to a little bit of a dicey start, but really wasn't any any big worry, honestly, or big potential issue, because, yeah. Okay, you're just going to start dodging? Okay. I hope that drop against the executor didn't cost me the win but i guess time will tell so the final score against bindu here was 2044 to 119 don't know what they did on my uh, defense who they dropped on a reva and then one shot uh vader and ray but eh, the win is a win especially with the uh gp difference here was it this account right Oh no, it was the ways that had the worst one. But uh, anyways, if you all enjoyed, don't forget to hit like and hit subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later on. I hope you have a good rest of your day.